What is up, Reactors? We got episode three of Stranger Things season four, titled The Monster and the Superhero. I've loved the first two episodes already. Now I'm eager and highly excited for episode three. You've already seen it, but you haven't seen my reaction, but you came to the right place. This is Reel It In Reactions, so let's get right on into it and let's reel it in. This guy again. Sullivan. There were no signs of any attacker. No bruises. It's as if her attacker was a ghost. Does this remind you of anything, Doctor? No. Yeah, Freddy Cougar. Reminds me of Freddy Cougar. Yo, I remember that. Eleven is dead. I'm not convinced. So where has she been? Cali. California. If I wanted to chat, Doctor, I would have picked up the damn phone. <laughs> we can do this the hard way. Ooh, what's the hard way? Is this the hard way? Why are you taking that box? Those are Peter's old school projects. Sam, do something. Sullivan came in and hit a lick. <laughs> Angela. Angela, do you know where you are? Oh, that was the best part of episode two. Now you know not to mess with L. Don't mess with Eleven. Don't mess with her. But that future prom queen is gonna be fine. I mean, it was just like rubber wheels. <laughs> It could have been so much worse. So much worse. <laughs> They're definitely up in the air. I hope that guy does not die. <laughs> Please don't die. Well, well. <laughs> Aren't you out of sight for sore eyes, huh? Hi, Murray. The kids like risotto? Why don't I drop in and say hello to my old friends? <laughs> so sweet of you. Sweeter of you to let me stay. <laughs> and he cooks, too. Mm, and cleans. A regular little housewife. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go to a conference tomorrow in Alaska. So do Eskimos like, still live in igloos? Blown like living in the in suburbs now. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> What's going on? Your mom's going to Alaska. You're going to Alaska? <laughs> bro is up in the air, bro. He's super up there. What is wrong with you? I think I know what's wrong with him. <laughs> a man on cloud a thousand. Girl got smacked in the head today at the roller rink. Dude, pipe down. A skate attack. Yeah, but, but it wasn't like an ice skate. It was, um, of plastics. Of course it wasn't an ice skate, dude. It was a roller blade. She didn't look fine. Oh, don't rub it in, Mike. Don't do that, man. <coughs> oh, Mike, you're Ow. about to be in trouble. Aren't you gonna finish your, what? It's risotto. He's smacking, dude. <laughs> I still have no idea who he is. Smacking, dude. Smacking. Vecna. I think those tentacle things, whatever they are, connect to him so there he can, you know, transfer from the upside down world to the real world to claim his victims. And then when, once he detaches from those tendrils, He's back to the upside down world. That's my theory at the moment. But I'm most I, I think I'm probably wrong. I'm probably just blabbering about nothing. But that's my thoughts. We're gearing up. Preparing for the hunt. For Eddie? All this? Relax. And we're not killers like Eddie. And we just want to talk to him. Get him to admit his crime. Yeah, a little friendly neighborhood chat. Man, I would still be celebrating the championship win. It's only been a few days. If you're not up to this, you can go home. There's no judgment. You'll still be one of us, all right? Stay out of it, dude. Lucas, stay out of it. Lucas? No. I'm good. What? What are you doing? My brother! What is you doing? So, before that happens, we need to find Vecna, kill him, and prove your innocence. That's all, Dustin? You ain't killing Vecna, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> Snap, Fred. Ah, oh, dang. Jeez. Jeez, man. Vecna 
don't play, man. Oh, God. You think I'm a monster, too. Whoa, slow down there. What? You you were scared of me. No, no. No, that's not, that's, that's not true. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't matter. I, I care for you so much. You don't love me anymore. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. You never say it. You can't even write it, Mike. From Mike. From Mike. From Mike. From. That's a gentle word, man. Saying the L word. Very gentle word. Gotta be careful with that one. And you're a superhero. Oh, there we go. Not anymore. Hi, is uh, Jane Hopper live here? Uh, yeah. Um, what is this about? You may or may not be aware of an incident that happened last night involving Jane at the Rinkomania. That was an accident. Wow, are you serious? Wow, she... <sighs> she pressing charges. She's one of the cups mm. unnecessary. Officers, answer me. <laughs> your Russian is getting better now. So is your acting. If my pilot gets the money, he will bring it to me in this plane tomorrow. Then you can hitch a ride with him back to your country. Holy crap, it just clicked in my head. This dude's from Game of Thrones. I, f I forgot what episode. His name is Yuri is my but He helped Arya. Supplies American goods to some of us guys. Remember Three Wishes? If, if you're a Game of Thrones fan, you know what I'm referring to. I knew he was familiar. You missed that plane tomorrow. I am still rich. And you're still stuck in Kamchatka. <laughs> so whatever it is you're planning, American, let's get to it, yes. Fred and Chrissy don't make sense. Maybe they were just in the wrong place. They were both at the game. And near the trailer park. We're at the trailer park. Uh, should we maybe not be here? Yeah, seriously. Get out of there. Fred started acting weird the second we got here. Chrissy got there, instantly dies. Fred gets there, instantly dies. Who's next? If you saw a monster, you, you wouldn't go to the police. They'd never believe you. Right. But you might go to your, your shrink. Always the goddamn babysitter. The best babysitter. Well, we have our portal. Oh, he's choosing his victims. Patrick, he knows. Oh, he knows he's bleeding, dude. So this is how it starts? He chose his victim? Sooner or later, our, blood, our brother was going to die this season. At least it's not Lucas. We're looking for Eddie Munson. He's in this band. Yo, that guy's face just makes me laugh every time. Lucas? What are you doing with these douchebags? You know these freaks, Sinclair? Oh, come on. Lucas, what the hell? We're just trying to find Eddie, man. Well, you have eyes, don't you? He's not here. No! Hey, man! Well, Lucas, you chose. And you chose wrong. Destin Henderson! What? Destin Henderson! See? It wasn't so hard, was it? Now. Where do we find this? Dustin. Turn to the right. Yo, they take it this far. Hey, Mike! Hey, stop it! What are you doing? the chain or his foot because how is he standing could we get the keys to the basement archives of course give me one sec i'm so sorry to bother you for break but do you have a minute to talk um yeah 
course. Earlier today, when you basically threw yourself at Nance, there were like a lot of witnesses. Uh, are you implying that I still have a thing for Nance? <laughs> Dustin is hilarious. I don't want to talk about it. I'll punch you so hard in your face that your teeth will fall back out. Oh. <laughs> Too far. Oh, man. Not cool. Sorry. Not cool. Yeah. Bro, if any of these two die this season, or in season five, we riot, right? We're gonna riot. Okay. Can I use the bathroom? Sure. Up the stairs to the left. Steve, drive! Okay. Dustin, Lucas, where the hell have you been? Just listen. Are you guys looking for Eddie? Yeah, and we found him, no thanks to you. Lucas, you're so behind, it's ridiculous, okay? Just meet us at the school, we'll explain later. <laughs> bro, bro did the slow turn with the phone in his hand. I was, I was looking for clues. What, freshman think he's Sherlock Holmes or something? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. That joke was Yo, not go. funny. Yo, what? Oh, this just got interesting. Who do we have here? I'll take her off your hands. Hey, kiddo. Oh, this is why he did that. Oh, God. Oh. This man was hitting the chain, but it was... Oh. Get over here. According to several insiders, Victor believed his house was haunted by an ancient demon. What if a demon did invade Victor's home? It was Vecna. Yeah, and not just Chrissy's file. Fred was seeing Miss Kelly, too. Everyone who's seen Miss Kelly has died. Oh, my God, Billy. Hawkins is in danger. Each time it returns, it comes back stronger, smarter, deadlier. A war is coming to Hawkins. I don't have my powers. What if I told you there was a way, a way to bring them back? Developing a means to restore your abilities. That's why if we're really gonna do this, I'm gonna ask that you leave with me now. Thanks. I'm afraid your friends at Hawkins are very much... Can I see Fred's file? ...in the eye of the storm. Severe headaches. I know something's wrong. She's been having headaches. Those... No. Max, what you've been through... No! The clock. Billy. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. This is some nightmare on Elm Street, man, with, the, with this clock. It's stuck in the wall? Like, like, how do you survive this, man? How do you survive this? How do you get out of this situation? She's not asleep. She's wide awake. How? How do you wake up? And why is the symbol a clock? Max. I've been saying, oh, I'm so stupid. It's Max. I've been saying Billy. Oh my gosh, why did I say Billy? I meant Max. Sorry about that, guys. I'm watching this at 2 a.m. in the morning. Whew. Another good episode. Episode 3 is out of the way. We got episode 4, and episode 4 looks like it's going to be a shocking one. Maybe an even tragic one, because Max is the target now. 
Max is literally the target of Vecna. They found the clues, headaches, severe headaches, nosebleeds, constant nightmares. She had all those things. The same with Chrissy, dead. Same with Fred, dead, and now Billy. But we did see Vecna transfer into the mind of, I forgot the other, the other kid, uh, he's on the basketball team, I forgot his name, and then he had a nosebleed too. So that's another victim, so who, who comes first? I already know the freaking trailer showed her floating in the air with the grave. So it's, oh my gosh, why would they put that in the trailer? Everyone was thinking, what? Max has superpowers? Nah, Max is about to die. Like, how do you get out of this situation? I need to know how. I, I talked about it in my last review of episode two. It's not like Nightmare on Elm Street. Like, Nightmare on Elm Street, you fall asleep and the person outside's gotta wake you up to wake up and then boom, you're out of the dream state with Freddy. But this, man, they're in a trance. They'll float in the air. Um, well, that's before you die, you float in the air, but if not that, they're standing still and their eyes are in the back of their head and they're blinking. Like, we've already seen Eddie try to wake up Chrissy by shaking, that does nothing. But that would do something in Nightmare on Elm Street, but in here, this, it's like, once he's claimed you as the next target, there's no hope, it's just pack it up and go. So, episode four, like, there's gotta be a solution how to get out of it, how to, like, you can't run away from him. It's, man, this is, it's, it's a constant threat with Vecna that it's, it's like, once you hit a cl the clock, it's over. There's nothing you can do. It's over. Might as well wrap it up. I mean, that is, that is so hard to, like, fathom, let alone to agree with. It's absolutely crazy, but another good episode. So many things happen. Hopper's about to get out. Joyce's is in Alaska. I could not believe the girl pressed charges on L, but you know, oh well. We're, we're all still happy she took a rollerblade to the face. That was much earned. Uh, yes, thank you, Eleven. But um, yeah, things are getting crazy. Now we got episode four. Oh man, I don't know how I'm gonna react to that, man. Hopefully nothing happens. But with that being said, guys, I'll see you guys for episode four. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, please, and thank you. And turn on those notifications so that you know when my next video drops. With that being said, this is Real It In Reactions. I am Real It In Miles. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.